What's up? Good morning, guys. This is Monty, your local neighborhood hope dealer, baby, down here in San Diego. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling a lot better today. I go back to work tomorrow, man. I thank you. The devil tried to hold me down, baby, but ain't nothing going to stop me from spreading the good news on how God saved my life. And I'm so thankful for that. And I will always be in debt to the Lord because he saved my entire life with a mustard seed this small. Put it in my heart. Change everything about my life. Change my whole perspective. And now I walk with the Lord and I put on the armor of God every day and I will not I will not listen to the lie ever again because I now know the truth and I felt every avenue and nick and cranny in my soul with the truth and I will continue to do that guys all right hey let's bow our heads in prayer and we'll get on topic okay dear heavenly father thank you lord jesus for everything that you do father please put a hedge of protection over the McCoy family father please father help Mike Delgado continue to heal father please put a hedge of protection over their family as well father we thank you lord for everything that you do father please as i decrease you increase in my life right now and give me a good word for all these people out here can hear some good word this morning on how the lord can redeem them from a mustard seed something that small can you believe it when you're out there and you're struggling and you think it's going to take so much to turn your life around all it does is take a mustard seed and one choice and that one choice is to turn to you lord and, and, and let you take every nick and cranny inside your soul and be able to change you from the inside out and transform you with your words and not conform to the earth okay and we thank you lord for that father please protect everybody with a, um with a hedge of protection and please allow them to find their way through the dark to get to the light so they can enjoy the rest of their entire lives on this planet we thank you lord for that all right we love you we love you we love you in jesus name i pray amen amen guys How's it going? So today I want to talk about, as human beings, human nature, right? You do good, you feel good. You do bad, you feel bad. That's human nature, right? So then I figured this out, okay? Now if when I'm walking with the Lord, I have these, this unbelievable avenue to be able to do good, right? I, I, got, I got sermons I can listen to. I got church I can go to. I got the Bible that I can read. I got unbelievable devotions that I can read. I got prayer. I have all these tools, right? All these tools to be able to follow the Lord and, 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 and continue to do good, right? And as you continue to change, or you continue to seek doing good, your past ends up melting away. It starts flooding away. It even says that in the Bible, guys. Once you get right with the Lord and you start to walk with God, your past will disappear because what happens, okay, even we'll go scientifically, right? When I was playing pro baseball, I read a book called The Power of Positive Thinking in the Mind Gym, right? So scientifically, right, if your thoughts, the thoughts that you dwell on, they gain power in your mind. The more you think of them, okay, the more you think, the more power they get over your soul, right? So when you, when you continue, when you're able to learn mind control and you're able to flush out thoughts and, 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 and when a bad thought comes in your mind, get it out, they end up losing power, right? So then you can end up tra uh, transforming your life around. So I took it to a whole nother level. Like I said, during baseball, I read the purpose driven or during baseball, I wrote, I wrote, uh, I read the mind gym, right? And I read power of positive thinking. Those weren't biblical books. Okay. But now I put in the Bible into it and then it's changed my life completely. All right. Cause now I have all this Avenue now to look to the right direction to do good. And now my past has been flushed away. Okay. I go to meetings and I go and I go speak at events and go to meetings because I want to see the fresh pain. Cause sometimes you can look in the mirror and be like, man, I'm healed. I, I'm, 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 I'm recovered. There's no, there's no, no addiction inside of me, but, but, but but the thing is, you got to look at it like this. When you get clean and sober, your addiction is doing push-ups behind your back, right? Boom, 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 boom. Getting a workout in. You know what I mean? So the minute that you do give it a chance to come into your body, it will absolutely eat your whole entire life up. And I know this because I have fellowship and I talk to people, guys. And I have fellowship with people that have had years of sobriety and then they went back out and thought they could have a drink or thought they could smoke weed and it ended up ruining their whole entire lives again and taking years to get back into the rooms, guys. So we got to understand that we do not need to put no substance in our bodies no more, okay? It's not the way. We got to learn the truth. We got to continue to walk with the Lord, continue to hear the truth, fulfill your whole soul with the truth, and then there's no lie inside you guys. And that's how we change our whole entire lives. We transform. We transform with the Lord. We do not conform to culture or to society. Nothing that we conform to will ever fulfill our soul. And we'll just end up being a puppet bouncing around with no exact destination. Like I said, I'm so happy now that I can wake up every single morning 
And I have a direct direction where I'm headed, all right? And my source is God, okay? My source is God. It's not my job. It's not It's not anything on this planet is my source but the Lord. So if your source is the Lord, if that's where all your joy comes from and everything from the Lord, then it makes your job good. It makes your relationship good. It makes your outlook on life good. It makes your perspective on out, on life look good. And it's the best feeling in the world. It's because now you have joy. Like I talk about every day. And I'm going to explain this to you guys. Happiness comes from happenings. Okay. Happiness comes from an event from the outside that happens to you that comes and goes like the wind. I know that like back when I played pro baseball, like if I had a good game, you know what I'm saying? If I had a good game, I felt really happy. But in the morning I would wake up and I'd be like, oh, I got to go have another good game. And I would stress me out, continually worrying about the future and future tripping, right? So now with the Lord, I have joy. So this is continuous joy from deep within. This is because I know I'm right with God. I know I'm walking with the Lord. I know I walk the line. Okay. I know I have my integrity. I know that my whys are totally different than what my whys used to be. And now I'm able to walk with the Lord and feel joy. And joy is a continuous act of, of choosing it. Okay, guys? So now you continually choose joy. So now my source is coming from the Lord. So he gives me my connection because I'm connected to my connector. Thank you, Lord Salvation Army, for doing this for me. Putting me in a place where I could get away from everything on the earth for a whole year and get connected right with the one that made me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for that, guys. I'm so thankful for the Salvation Army. And I love that place, guys. Okay, so now I want to talk about... Not taking ourselves so serious, guys. Like learning how to laugh, all right? Learning how to enjoy your life, guys. And enjoy it and not live so prideful, man. Start to be humble. You know, start to live life as a servant, as a servant to the Lord, guys. And you will be fulfilled. We were made in the image of God to be fulfilled by the Lord. It's just a fact, guys. If I, I, wouldn't, I didn't believe this my whole life. And then I finally drove myself into the deepest grave of death on this earth. And he turned my whole life around. And I want to show out from the mountain tops about his redeeming capabilities guys and it's only from a mustard seed when i look back in hindsight because we live life forward but understand life backwards it's just amazing what the lord has done for me guys okay let's learn to laugh at yourself more freely don't take yourself or your circumstances so seriously Relax and know that I am God with you. Direct relationship. It's what he's always wanted with us. When you desire my will above all else, life becomes much less threatening. All those fears that you have, all this and all that, oh my gosh, oh, I'm so worried. They, they paralyze you. They seem to dissipate, guys, when you're walking with God because you know that all you got to do is the next right thing and then you become the next right thing and then your habits change and then the past is flushed, guys. Stop trying to monitor my responsibilities. Things are... Things that are beyond your control, find freedom by accepting the boundaries of your domain. Laughter lightens your load and lifts your heart into heavenly places. Your laughter rises to heaven and blends an analogic melodies of praise. Just as parents delight in the, in the laughter of their children, so I delight in hearing my children laugh. I rejoice when you trust me enough to enjoy your life lightheartedly. Do not miss the joy of my presence by carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. Rather, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. My yoke is comfortable and pleasant. My burden is light and easily borne. I love that. I love that, guys. Hey, I know in life sometimes we have a... Um, a conception of what we think, like maybe our, our father or maybe our real dad wasn't the, as nice, you know, or maybe we think that the Lord is like that, you know, but the Lord is not like that, guys. He is nothing like anything on this planet, and he loves you with his whole heart, and he wants to change your whole entire perspective so you can see this earth on a whole nother lens, and you can change your whole life around, guys. Hey, I'm feeling good today. It's Sunday, man. I've been cooped up for a couple weeks now, it seems like, you know, but now I got the fire back, you know, the devil tried to take me out for a little while, but he ain't going to get this, baby, because I walk with the Lord, all right? Hey, it's Sunday, though. Remember, day of rest. Let's um, let our souls and our spirits rest so we can be moving and grooving, baby, on Monday. You know what I'm saying? I thank you guys so much. Please continue to heal Big Mike Delgado. Please continue to put a hedge of protection of the McCoy family, and please continue, Father, to heal my wife and just continue to just do what you do on this planet. Put a mustard seed in someone's heart and have them uh, transformed to your word, and we love you with all our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just for today. Today matters. Thank you, guys.